Hello, in this session we'll talk about connecting to SAP HANA 1 database running on Amazon Web Services from SAP HANA Studio client running on Windows. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In order to make a connection from SAP HANA Studio to your SAP HANA 1 database, the database machine has to be up and that is running and the database has to be up as well so I can verify that. So let's connect to this machine. I have selected this instance and from action I'm going to choose connect. Now I click on launch SSH client button. I'm connected to the Linux instance as root user. I need to switch the user to HDB ADM which owns the SAP HANA database so I will issue the command su space dash space HDB ADM. Now I am connected to the system as HDB ADM. I can issue the command who am I and this will confirm. Now I need to verify if the database is up and running. I can issue the command HDB in uppercase space info and hit enter. This will tell you if the database is up. You see all these processes so database is up and running just fine. So machine is up, database is up and I can now try to make a connection from HANA Studio to the server. Next go into the start menu of your Windows and then go into all programs and look for SAP HANA. Expand the section and click on SAP HANA Studio. This will open up administration console of SAP HANA Studio. Click on open modeler. This will open up SAP HANA Studio with modeler perspective because if you scroll to the right you can see there are two perspective modeler and administrator you can click on administrator console and this will change the perspective into the administrator mode so let me go back to the modeler SAP HANA studio is a client software it could be used for development as well as for administration and it has to make a connection with SAP HANA 1 database the software is running on Windows machine and our HANA database is running on a virtual machine on Amazon Web Services so we need to make a connection. In this navigator window there is a white area just right click anywhere and you will see this menu choose add system. Once you click on add system this window opens up titled system so you need to enter information on where your machine is that is running SAP HANA 1 database and what is the number of the database instance number there could be multiple instances running on one machine so usually that will be 00 if only one instance is running and so on so let's find out the host name first I'm back to my Amazon Web Services EC2 panel and here you can see the machine name that is running the SAP HANA 1 database. So I'm going to copy this name, right click copy. Now I'm back to SAP HANA Studio. So the system window is still open. Here I'm going to paste the machine name and my instance number is 00. There's only one instance running. And description I can give any. This is for my purposes only. It has nothing to do with the connection. I can call it my SAP HANA 1 and let's click on the next button. Next you will be asked to provide the username and password to connect to the database. This is not a Linux username or password, this is database username and password. We haven't created any users as such so the system does come with default schemas or users and system is one of those system in uppercase and the password you already have either reset the password or you know the default password is manager in lowercase in one of the previous videos we connected to the SAP HANA 1 database through the software called HDBSQL this software is uh, already there on the Linux environment so that's what we use to connect to the database and I showed you how to reset the password through that software. So if you have reset your password already, enter the new password, otherwise enter the default password which is manager. So I've entered my password for the system user. Now I'm going to click on the next button. 
you can choose your location and host name is already there I'm simply gonna click on the finish button now so the connection has been made with the server and you see this message called secure storage a new master password has been created password recovery can be enabled by providing additional information would you like to do so now the master password helps you recover the data if something goes wrong so we're gonna say yes you can recover your password by providing answers to these questions you can go to secure storage preference page and click on recover password button so just enter two questions and provide answers so this is not a production environment so I'm just gonna enter something so I entered questions and answers and now I'm gonna click on OK button now you'll be back to the SAP HANA studio under navigator you are going to see catalog backup security and content if you expand the catalog by clicking on this pointer you will see all the schemas that are there in the database we haven't created any custom schema yet so you will see all the seeded schemas that come with the system especially sys and system and you're going to see lots of schemas starting with underscore sys as well so you are successfully connected to SAP HANA 1 database using your SAP HANA Studio client.